What's up guys? How's it going? Today we're filming a video on how to fish the drop shot. Or well, more importantly, how to rig the drop shot. First of all, things you're going to need is your rod with your wine. Uh, this is I'm running currently running three pound braid to a six pound leader, um, fluorocarbon leader. You are going to need uh, a hook, a drop shot hook. That's the kind of hook that you'll be using. Um, that's a mustard ultra point circle hook. Um, it's a little bit thicker of a gauge than this, which is the Gamagatsu. This is the Gamagatsu single hook. Um, sorry, no single hook. Uh, drop shot, split shot hook. That's a size one. And this mustard is a size one o. As you see the difference there, guys, it's a lot thicker in diameter. It's a lot thicker in diameter. This this would mean you get probably get a little less um, movement out of it. But anyway, guys, what you're also gonna need is a drop shot weight. Um, that is a lead. It's a lead weight. Uh, currently, what I'm using at the moment. Um, you can get tungsten, but tungsten's a little bit expensive over here and I feel like it's not necessary um, you're not fishing you know tournaments uh, over here that you need to justify tungsten yeah tungsten's better for uh, probably better for the environment than lead but you know tungsten's also hard to get and way more expensive anyway guys enough with the rambling about tungsten or lead let's get started so first of all you are going to Feed your hook on, like this, feed it back, through like that, um, you're going to leave, you're actually going to need to get to leave a um, pretty good tag end, so I might give it just a little bit more, because I like to have a bit more tag end for my leader, you're going to feed that through, now guys you can crimp this down, you can pinch it down and do it that way, but I feel like it gives it a bit of a kink in the line. And the king of the line, I feel, doesn't really do wonders for your line in the long run. And you're just going to tie. I'm pretty bad with this because I'm not very coordinated. But you're just going to grab an overhand knot like that. You're going to pull down, but do not cinch it. There you go. Pulling down. And you're going to pull. Take this, your knot, pull it through like that. And guys, I think it's important with these kind of things to use just a little bit of moisture, sweat, or a bit of water. Pull down like that. And that's almost set. Now guys, you guys can look. See how the hook's not sitting uh, perfect on the drop shot? It's not sitting upright, it's sitting down. So I'm going to take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tag end. That's my tag end there. Feed it back through the drop shot. Oh, can't get this right. I'm gonna feed this back through the eye of that hook. And you are oh nope. That pulled out. You gonna pull down. Oh, sorry guys, I mean my fat fingers. There you go. And that there is now sitting upright. Not sitting so upright, but I think it's the way you tie the knot, so to say, is how you get it. So that there is sitting uh, more upright now. Uh, it takes a little bit of tweaking. Where you tie the knot is where you, um, how you tie the knot and the angle is how the line will sit on the thing. That there sits straight upright like that. And now you want to attach your drop shot weight. Very important to have. So you can give. So guys, with your drop shot weight, uh, it can vary the length uh, depending on what you're fishing. You can either have it right down on the bottom. You're fishing right down on the bottom, or you could fish it a little higher, anything from eight inches to ten inches. Some guys even go, you know, foot. It's like you know, a couple of feet. Um, in really excessive things, but I feel like you don't need to have that long. I uh, use any joining knot. I'm just going with a little simple clinch knot, dampen it up, and then pull down, snip your tag end, 
trusty knife. And that there, guys, is how you rig a drop shot. Simple. That's gonna sit like that, and you're just gonna you're gonna rig something on that. I'll show you guys in a second what you can rig. Now, guys, things you can rig on a drop shot. It could be anything. I'm talking small little crustacean things like yabbies. This is a pro live yab uh, live strip live yabby. Uh, that's two inch plastic, four inch. Um, that's a crust tail shad from Jackal. Really good bait. Cut that down a little bit, and that gets a really good tail. Um, something a bit more natural. It's a little bigger. Um, looks like a bit of a bait fish. Looks like a small redfin. Um, you can use those. I've been experimenting with these. These are the bait breath um, soft plastics. Uh, fish tail shads. That's more of a smoke, like a smoke scent, uh, smell kind of color. That's a great color to use when you're uh, fishing tough conditions. Uh, it looks like a very natural uh, water bait in the water. Uh, more bait breath. Some more yabbies. I find these little yabbies crawls and then you can use. But guys, don't you can guys you can almost drop. You can actually drop shot anything. You can drop shot even these. These are what five, four inch worms, five inch worms. You can drop shot those. Uh, but what I really like to drop shot um, are the Z-Man plastics because they're buoyant. So with the Z-Man plastics, when you rig them up, they actually will sit because uh, they float. They will sit up higher in the water column and they float up the tail, and that gives it a really nice action. All you have to do is give this a little bit of a jiggle, and that's all you need to do to make it happen. I'll show you guys how I like to rig my drop shot. There are three ways you can rig your plastics on a drop shot. The first one is just a simple that there, you want to get straight just a little bit in and that there, lots of action, lots of uh, lots of kicks once you uh, give it a little bit of a jiggle. Second way you can rig it is like this giving it just through oh, just through the nose by that there and that allows it to be one with the with the hook um, and that makes it so every time that hook moves your plastic will move also might also I think I feel like it hinders your hook up rate a little bit but I think it varies on the bite conditions um, other ways you can rig it is on an EWG um, you can rig them weedless, you can rig them exposed hooks, you can rig them anyway. Uh, you can play around with your drop, your leader, uh, drop it to your leader, the length from anything from a short leader to extra long leaders. It all depends if you're fishing grass, fishing rocks, you're fishing like a muddy bottom, you don't want it to be on the bottom. Um, you guys can just play around with it, guys. Anything you can do with the drop shot um, is a really good technique to use uh, in winter. It's good to use all around, all year round. I find. I find like this time of the year, uh, middle of summer in Australia, it's really hot. It's really hot. It's probably 40 degrees today, um, and the bites really become tough. And going to something like a drop shot or a Ned rig uh, in the middle of summer, fish like if you would fish winter, um, you can probably still get the same bites. It might be a little slower, might be still slow, but it still gives you puts in the right frame of mind, frame of mind to catch those fish. Anyway guys, if you guys want to see me how to fish this thing, um, hit me with the comments down below uh, saying yes, I would love you, love me to show you guys how to fish it, and I'll do that video for you guys tomorrow. Anyway guys, nice chatting with you guys, take care.